I am your host, Angela Pipersberg. Justice. To be uh, 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 an agent of change, a person that brings into a hurting world. We're partners. Mm-hmm. There's a difference in attitude. What we get out of it is what we put into it. I cannot. I would not be who I am today if it were not for him. You know, life was not easy, but it was on purpose. Secret Sauce is a program designed to spotlight Kingdom Chamber of Commerce, entrepreneurs, and professionals on the secret to their success. Traditionally, secrets are meant to be kept dear to one's heart. But for the Kingdom Chamber of Commerce, it's their driven mission to ensure you as a God believer understand the true path to success. Here to guide you on understanding your true path, your host, Dr. Angela Pipersburg. here we go here we go happy thursday everyone happy thursday it's thursday all righty let me see some fire emojis tell me where you're joining us from so excited to be with you on today annie yes we're ready come on annie come on annie come on annie yes 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 guys how has your day been tell me about your day what has your thursday been like what has this week been like for you come on Post in the chat. Talk to me. Talk to me. I mean, it's been an incredibly uh, an amazing. Hallie is on. Annie is on. Yay. So glad to see my sisters on here. To God be the glory. Uh, happy uh, Daniel. Yay. Daniel said, I'm ready. My Thursday has been terrific. Terrific Thursday. I love that, Daniel. I love the two T's. And Sue. Annie, I didn't even get a chance to tell you that Sue was on the show today. This sister right here. Oh my gosh. She's something else, Annie. She's something else. And so, you know, guys, that's the power of connections. I just want to give uh, uh, a shout out to all of the sisters out there. I mean, when I tell you, come on here, sisters, you know, we had, uh, what was it? Yesterday was, uh, International Women's Day, but let me tell you something. It has to be international. It has to be International Women's Month and then International uh, Women's Year. You know, the whole year. Come on now, talk to me, somebody, sisters. Come on, come on. You know, I'm so grateful. You know, as a matter of fact, what I'm going to do, what I'm, what I'm sensing. I posted something yesterday on, um, on my Facebook, and let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it because I think it's so. It is so, uh, the timing itself is just so right, so right. And, um, and so for, for national, for uh, international women's day, come on guys, go ahead. Tell me where you're joining me from. Let's tell me about what your day was like. And, um, and, and, and so I, I said, God did not create the woman as an afterthought, right? but an integral part of his plan in creation. Woo-wee, come on here. He designed and built a woman in love and with particular care. A woman's uniqueness is a reflection of God's purposes and design for her. And I said, a woman first needs to uh, identify, needs to find her identity in who she is in Christ. I think that right there is like a, mm mm-hmm, A woman first needs to find her identity in who she is in Christ, God's beloved child. It is only as she does this that she can be fulfilled to carry out his plans for her. And then I reference the Proverbs 31 woman because it's very important, you know, that we have someone that we can see. And so I said the Proverbs 31 woman was just not a busy woman. She was what you call fruitful, right, Annie? fruitful. And I said, she's a woman who knows her purpose in God. Woo, wee, Blama, that is so good. She knows that God values her abilities and intelligence, right? So we carry that. Yeah, we're intelligent. We're beautiful. We're special. We're delicate, but we're also strong. She knows that God va- values her abilities and intelligence. And so she's free to pursue opportunities and make plans for expanding her realm of influence. 
She knows that God is her ultimate source and desires to bless her. So sets her work with energy and anticipation. This woman is a bad sister right here, right? She is a businesswoman. Come on here, Proverbs 31. Somebody just type Proverbs 31 in the chat. Come on here, Proverbs 31. She is a businesswoman. Guess what? She makes linen garments and guess what she does with them? She sells them. Come on here and supplies merchants with sashes. She sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. Come on here. This woman runs a business from her home and has the business acumen to be a successful trader in the marketplace. Guys, we got the role model. An entrepreneur, her effort in industry brings benefit to her family as she's able to supplement the family income. This Proverbs 31 woman, she's an investor as well. Not only is she a bad businesswoman, not only is she an amazing wife, right? An amazing mother. She's also an investor. Come on here, somebody. She invests wisely. She considers a field and buys it. From her earnings, guess what she does? She don't go just spend money crazily and foolishly. No, it says here, from her earnings, she plants a vineyard. Woo-wee. Apart from working to earn a living, she invests carefully. She not only plans for short term, but she understands and seeks the benefit of long term investments and income and contributes to the financial well being of her household. She's reliable and dependable and watches over the affairs of her family. Her husband has full confidence in her and trusts her to make the right decision day to day. Uh, make the right day-to-day -day decisions and manages the family assets efficiently. I love this woman. She knows what her worth, where her worth comes from. Uh, it comes from her position in God. And she treats herself with respect. Come on here, somebody. She has immersed herself in God's word in order to know his ways. And therefore, she's able to give godly wisdom and instruction to others. She honors Jesus with her life. You know, so I am just so grateful and just so thankful, you know, for uh, our, the father. I'm so grateful and thankful how he created us. And, uh, you know, uh, we salute the men out there, but 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 hats off to the sisters, man. You know, and, and when we start accepting the freedom that God has given us in Christ, man, I'm telling you, we know that we are esteemed by him. We develop the creative ideas he had given us in our innermost beings, and we use those gifts and talents he has placed on the inside of us. I'm telling you, we have a role model. We have a role model for motherhood. We have a role model for what it truly means uh, to be a godly woman and to be an ambassador for the kingdom and to be a mother and to be a wife and to be a grandmother and a sister. Come on here, somebody. But to God be the glory. I could go on and on and on. But I'm so glad that you guys have joined us today. Today's been an amazing day for me. Uh, Blama's going to be jumping up here in a little bit. We've had uh, tapings of the Angela Pipersburg show. Again, just, you know, stay tuned and just, you know, pay attention to my page as we post and keep you updated. It's just been an amazing, fruitful day. I jumped over to uh, uh, Davis today and did, you know, uh, some, some work for them as one of the parent uh, council members. And so I'm just so grateful and just so thankful. But we had to make sure that we were on here with you guys to be able to share because I know how much you look forward uh, to evenings like this. And so Blama, if you could go ahead and, and just go ahead and and, uh, and and jump on here, you know, and I, I, I want to jump on with, uh, we're talking about the third month and we're talking about Blama. We're talking about knowing the significance of the third month. Mm -hmm. Father, we just thank you and we bless you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory, Father. Father, let your kingdom come. Father, let your kingdom come. Father, let your will be done. Father, let it be established in earth as it is in heaven. Father, we thank you right now, Father, Lord God, for heaven and earth coming into agreement, Father. We thank you for the portals of heaven that are open right now. We thank you, Father, Lord God, for the blessings that you have for your children, we thank you for a greater revelation of the kingdom. We thank you, Father, Lord God, that we're able to see ourselves, Lord God, as ch king's kid, children of the king. We're able to see ourselves as royalty. And Father, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, that you, according to in Deuteronomy 8.18, Father, Lord God, you've given us the power to get wealth. 
Father, I thank you that we are extremely wealthy. Hallelujah. And Father, I thank you, Lord God, for creative ideas that are being downloaded even now. And so we bless you, Father, and we thank you in the name of Jesus for the supernatural flow. Somebody type supernatural flow in the chat. Let the supernatural flow, let the supernatural flow, let the supernatural flow. And Amen. Lama, as we're talking about the third month, one of the scriptures that I wanted to talk about was Psalm 92, 12 to 15. And it says, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Mm. Amen. Lama, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like cedar in Lebanon. And it mm. says, those that are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Guess what it says here? They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. Come on here, mm, somebody. Come on. They shall be fat and flourishing. Hallelujah. Come on. And we're not talking about weight. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it shows that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. And mm. flourish in Hebrew means the flower. It means the bloom. Mm. It means the blossom. It means the breakthrough. Yes. It means the spread out. Amen. It means entering into a state of prosperity. Amen. It means increase in wealth and favor and honor. Come on here, somebody. Come on. It means to grow vigorously and exuberantly. Mm. It means enlargement, Annie. It means expansion, Sue. Come on mm. here. Mm. It mm. means to become extremely successful. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. And I believe oh. that that's what God has. In, and some of you are at this place. If you're on this call tonight, I have a feeling that you're one of those ones that may find mm. yourself in a place right now where you feel uncomfortable. It's 919 right now. I love numbers. I see mm. numbers. Nine, that manifestation. I'm telling you, heaven and earth right now in agreement for the manifestation in your life. It Hallelujah. is time for us to manifest. That's it, yes. Annie. Let the supernatural flow tonight. Hallelujah. Let the supernatural flow tonight. Let the supernatural flow tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. my gosh. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Some of you ready for tonight? Because I'm excited. I'm sensing <laughs> Sensing chassis. I'm sensing, <laughs> I am sensing chassis. Flow, flow, I flow, am chassis. Sensing chassis. Flow, 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 Hallelujah. flow, flow. And so we need to understand that there's so many people right now that are in this place right now. Paul or Haley, if somebody could plug in my, my computer for me. Um, there's so many of us mm -hmm. right now, Blama, that are in this place where we, we feel, you know, we're not sure what's happening. Yeah. If, you, if you're in that place right now, mm. right? You're in that place. Things are happening, but you're not sure. You're not. Yeah. You can't. You can't. Uh, on this. On this side, you yeah. can't. Um, you can't put your finger on what it is. You could go yeah. that way. You can't put your finger wow. on what it is. How many of you are right at that place? Wow. You know, you're you're you're, you're trying to evaluate. You're yes. you're you're in this place where you're you're just trying to figure out like what is going on. There's change, but I can't figure out the change. There's things that I want to do, but I can't figure out exactly what it is. How many of you are at that place? Amen. Because if you're sensing that right now, if mm. you're sensing that there is mm. a reason, it's based on what is happening right now on planet earth. Yes. Blama, there's so many changes that's yes. taking place right now. On Yes, Hallie. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And, and, you know, and it's almost today I was driving and I, I recorded something because so many of us, and I think Sue talked about this uh, as well. Many times when we are working on something, God gives us vision. God shows us vision. And right when we get to the place, come on, right when we get to the place that we're about to break through, so almost like you hit a wall. Mm -hmm. And when you hit the wall, what do you do when you hit that wall, Blama? You know what most people will do when they hit the wall? They retreat. Mm, most people run. when they come on yeah, right god yeah. gave you a vision yeah with the vision wow. well you know i mean yes you see what you see but then there's things that will come and yeah. i believe it comes to really test you for authenticity <laughs> amen come on now. yes it comes to test you but so yes. many of us annie that if we're not careful hmm. we will stop right there and then and say maybe god does not want me to do x y and z but I'm telling you guys that that that's a trick from the from the adversary. The goal is wow. that when you hit that wall, you need to, to be able to tell yourself this that I'm going through the wall. Come Ooh, on here. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. 
I'm going to go through the wall. <laughs> and, and, and so March is a very, very, yes. it's a supernatural month. It's yes. not by accident that we're having wow. a supernatural business conference in the wow. month of March. Wow. If you look up at the sky, the sky Amen. is different in the month of in the month of March. The mm -hmm. positioning of where the of how the sun mm -hmm. is is different. The mm -hmm. way the sun rises is different. The way the sun set is different. Mm -hmm. You know, even it's it's so beautiful that the, the mm -hmm. sunsets have been different. The moon mm -hmm. is different, guys. Mm -hmm. Everything around us is screaming change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything around us, come on, Annie, is screaming change. Mm. It's screaming pivot. <laughs> screaming, you've gone around this mountain too long. Turn come north. On. Come <laughs> on. Come on. It's, it's giving you an opportunity to look <laughs> at what you have been doing, Ruth. Come on here, somebody. And now recognizing and saying, why have I done this that way so long? And it's not bearing fruit. Yeah. And for so many of us, the answers that we need are coming to us, but yeah. we're so caught up with what's not working and the yeah. distraction that it's easy for us, Blama, to be able to miss sight of what God has for us. This is a significant Ooh. month. This is a supernatural month. This is why you need to be at the Supernatural Business Conference. Amen. You That's know, right. uh, Psalms 112 uh, uh, verse three says, wealth and riches shall be in your house. Amen. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Riches shall be, be in, in your, your house. house. I decree and declare that yes. wealth and riches is in your house. Yes. Wealth and riches is in my house. Yes. And I love that scripture that I messed Ooh. up for years. It says, mm. peace be within your walls mm. and prosperity within your, for years, mm. I said, places. And we're on a cruise in the middle of the ocean somewhere on mm -hmm. Royal Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And I was teaching at the Call to Greatness Summit. Mm -hmm. and, and I said, peace be within your walls. And the first time I look at that word, Blama, and I mm -hmm. said, oh, my gosh, it is not places. It's palaces. Wow. Peace be within your walls and prosperity, <laughs> Ruth, within your palaces. Come on here, <laughs> Within your God, palaces. It's time for us to cash in. Wow. Wow. It's time for you to cash in. Mm -hmm. And March is that significant mm -hmm. month where it's still not too late, Blama, yeah. for us to pivot. Yeah. Blama, you heard me. It's such still an important time that the first quarter has not ended yet. Yeah. You came into 2023 saying, this is my year. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go do this. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. I'll yes. do. And then, you know, the wind started blowing and you're Ooh. like, Ooh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I can't wait for 23 to end. Uh -uh. No. Yeah, that's right. This is going to be the year where you're going to be like that palm tree. Amen. And you're going to grow like a Amen. cedar in Lebanon. You're yes. going to be fat and flourishing. Hallelujah. Come on. Because that's what flourishing. the word of God says about you. That's it, Ruth. Palaces. Palaces. palaces come on but now we're going to have to understand what 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 god has for us i love psalms 22 8 this just came up it says mm. i'm like a green olive tree in the house of god <laughs> i'm like a green, green olive, tree olive tree in the house of god oh, hallelujah yes. love that yes. i love it i love it i yes. love it i love it i love it you know, to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Oh my gosh. And and I love I love this song, song of Sol Solomon 2 4. It says, He brought me to the banqueting house, Blama, mm. and his banner over me is love. Guys, come Amen. on. Amen. <laughs> the Stand on that. Yes. He brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me was love. Listen, Amen. that's the come banner on. of love that God yes. wants to clothe us with. That yes. we're able to see ourselves and identify ourselves <laughs> as yes. ambassadors of the kingdom, yes. as children of the most high. When yes. circumstances and situations, you know, try to cause you to, to, mm -hmm. to, 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 to lose your footing, stay mm -hmm. focused in him. Mm -hmm. Stay in the word. I'm telling yes. you right here, right here, right, right here. Come this on. is our blueprint. Come don't, on. Don't, don't, don't bear off to the left. Yes. <laughs> don't bear off to the right. <laughs> stay focused, stay, stay focused, focused stay focused, and, and, and focus on that vision that God has given to you. Because if God Ooh, says Jesus. that he's going to do it through you, know that God is not man that he should lie. Yeah. 
Amen. Proverbs 11, 28. Oh my gosh. Wow. But the righteous shall flourish. It talks about it again. Yes. The righteous yes. shall flourish. So everything yes. about the word of God is pointing to us flourishing. Yes. So we need to recognize what's on the inside of us, Blama. Yes. And we need to now start putting a demand on potential. Somebody type potential in the chat. We need to start putting in potential. Okay, you understand your purpose first, and then we start putting a demand on potential. We talked a little bit about that the last time I think I was here, that God created each and every one of us for a unique assignment. That's why mm -hmm. you're here. You're mm -hmm. not here to pay another bill. Mm -hmm. You're not here to just jump in a car, go and then come back home and then go in the car again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're here for something greater. You're here for a great assignment. And so but yeah. you're going to have to understand what that is. You're going to have to understand what your purpose is. Amen. And I love uh, my papa's book. Many of you know that, you know, uh, we were mentored by the great, <laughs> the master, Dr. Miles oh, yeah. Monroe, who ordained oh, my husband and I, to God be the glory. Oh, and in yeah. his book, he talks about potential. I don't think there's another author on planet Earth that could talk to potential like my father. But again, I'm biased. <laughs> it's your potential enables you to fulfill your purpose and your purpose reveals the potential hidden within you say that mm. again wow. your potential ruth ann enables you to fulfill your purpose and your purpose reveals the potential that's hidden within you oh wow. my goodness Oh, wow. my, 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 my. And wow. so one of the things that I've been studying when you talk about potential is also the enemies of potential. And Ooh. I think we're going to touch on that today, Blama, oh, because wow. with what's on the inside of us, this is why we go through. Hey, Pamela, happy birthday to you. Today's Pamela's happy birthday, birthday and Pamela. also Linda Loman's birthday, two of our amazing happy birthday, precious Linda. Birthday. So glad that you're on with us. And so, and so we need to understand that that gift that's on the inside of us, that uh, the, 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 the potential that's on the inside of us, if there's anything that keeps the enemy, uh, 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 um, you know, on his feet is that may you never discover what's on the inside of you. Mm. And this is why every time it looks like you're starting uh, to progress, he's going to come and see it, wow. where, where you are with your walk. Like, you know, yeah. are you truly authenticated? Have you truly discovered who you are? Because if wow. you truly have not yet discovered where you are, then he could basically get you to abort the plan and the purpose God has for you. You know, I love this scripture. Uh, uh, and this is found in John 10, 9 to 10. I, Jesus, am the gate. Yes. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief mm. comes only to steal yeah. and to kill and to destroy. And but destroy. hear this. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Mm. That's where the Father wants us to, to, uh, uh, to be able to, to, you, to, to, to stand on and to be able to understand this. Mm. He wants us also to be to understand that we must have a relationship with him in yeah. order to fulfill the potential and the purpose that he has for us. Yeah. John 15, 4 to 7, he says, remain in me mm. and I will remain in you. Mm -hmm. It says no branch can bear fruit by itself. Mm. Do you think that a tree can just go in and say, you know what, today I don't like the soil anymore. And so I'm going to just root myself out and, and, and get on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the funniest thing to ever see, a tree that does that. <laughs> How far would it go? But it so it is far. for us when we're not connected to our source. You get that, Blama? Absolutely. So it is with us when we're not connected. It says no branch can bear fruit by itself. It mm. must remain in the vine. Mm. Come on. It says wow. neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. So when we think that we can do things on our own. Oh, I got this. My, in, my, 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 I did no this. Way. I did that. I did the other. No, no, no. It says you can, uh, neither can you bear fruit unless mm. you remain in the source. That tree will never bring forth fruit unless it's in the ground, which is the source, which is from where it it, it, it pulls the nutrient from. Yeah. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. <laughs> it says, I am the vine. Get it right here. I am the vine and you are the branches. If Amen. a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. It says, <laughs> apart from me, you can do nothing. Come on now. Nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he's like a branch that is thrown away and withers. 
I mean, we ought to just stop right there. Stop, yeah, you can stop right there. Just meditate on that. It says he is like a bridge. If you do not remain in him, if that plant decides that it's going to uproot Both itself from the soil that have been giving it uh, nutrients, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. And and it decides one day I don't want to be here anymore. That's it, Annie. I'm like a tree planted by the river of water. That's Amen. it. That's it. You know. And he decides he's going to pull himself away. The word of God tells us that if you don't remain in me, in Christ, you know, he says you shall be like a branch that is thrown away and withers. And the thing about it, hmm. when you disconnect from the source, your leaf may still be green for a few minutes. Hmm. Come on. Come on now. It That's looks good. like there's still life. That's good. But there's no life. There's That's now good. death. That's good. The moment we disconnect from him, death comes in. Death. Come on now. You may I have wow. plants all wow. around me. I love wow. having plants. Wow. And it's so interesting wow. that you know wow. the leaf may still look green, but guys, you go down to that root, it's just a matter of time Ooh. because the root has been disconnected. Jesus. And it says, such branches are picked up, thrown in the fire, and burned. Mm. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish. Take that to the bank. Come on now. Write that deposit slip. You know what I have on here on my, on my desk? <laughs> Million dollar bills. Yeah. Come on here. Come on. He said, if you remain in me. Come on, tree. Come on, tree. Come on, tree. <laughs> if you remain in me and my words remain in you. Come on, Blama. That's it. Come on here. Come on here. It's a <laughs> I, I million keep, dollar evening party. Come on. Come on. We, we, we meditated on this. We meditated on. right here. Keep right in front That's of it. That's <laughs> it. That's it. That's it. If you remain in me and my words remain where? On the inside of you. you. He said, ask me whatever you wish. What are you believing for? If yeah. you remain in him, guess what you have? You have access. Come on. What do you have? You have a right. He has given you permission and he is telling you what to do. He said, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it shall be given on to you. Guys, that scripture is John 15, four to seven, one of my favorite scripture. And so we need to understand why the enemy tries to steal our potential. Mm. What, where is that one area that's loaded with potential, Blama? Where's that? Where's that? The cemetery. Ooh. And not loaded. Every time you pass from there, it's oh loaded with potential. Yeah, you and drive so by, you're driving like so much potential. <laughs> you're like, oh, this could have happened. This, oh my goodness, that's heavy. What the enemy <laughs> tries to do is to steal our potential. Yeah. He fears God's power within us because it's greater than what he is. Yeah. And so therefore, our dreams, our plans, and our ideas are what? Our target. Come and on. so that's what he tries to come after, Annie. Yeah. And so the moment we have a good idea, the deceiver will send a human being. He's not going to send no snake. Come on now. <laughs> 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 he sends another human being to do yes. what? To criticize your dream. Discourage you. To discourage you. Yeah. Come on now. To tell you ain't nobody going to buy that. I see yeah. that, guys. I've been working with entrepreneurs for years. Oh no, ain't nobody want that. No, that I don't think the market is going to. No, no, no. I don't mm -hmm. think the market is ready for that. You yeah. know what is that? Somebody trying to put you down, mm -hmm. trying to criticize your dream. Come on. Hallelujah. Because he cannot permit you to accomplish your vision. Yeah. So as long as you're only daydreaming, he's safe. He's not going to touch you, mm. Pam. He's going to leave Ooh. you alone. But the moment you start begin to act on her dream, Jesus. you get ready. Come and so on. what do you need to do based on that, Blama? You need to make provision. You need to factor yes. in. Yes. That when those days when the, the wind is blowing, mm. those days where it seems like nothing makes sense, mm -hmm. those days where it seems that everything is contrary to the very thing that you heard God say to you, move forward, uh, mm. uh, 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 continue, continue, mm. yeah, accelerate. It's mm. not making sense. Maybe the provision aren't even there. Mm -hmm. The things that you're believing wow. for. Maybe you've gotten no sales. Wow. But you still know in your heart that God told you to do what you're supposed to do. You, wow. you know, you need to hear a message like this that will encourage you and that will yeah. will, 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 will cause you to understand that, totally. you know, there's potential on the inside of you. God Amen. promised he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Those moments, Ruth Ann, that when you when you look at your account, it doesn't mm. make sense. It's mm. not matching up to these promises. Come on. 
Come it's on. It's not the time for us to stop, guys. It's That's the right. time for us to keep what? Keep pressing keep on. Going. He'll never leave you. He'll yeah. never forsake you. This Amen. is when you take the word and you say, God is the source. God is yes. the source of my supernatural supply. Hallelujah. Come on here, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on here, somebody. Hallelujah. In the midst of what the enemy tries to do, of, of bringing down that rain on you, he can't touch you. Why? Because you're not his. You're, you're, you're God's. And so Amen. you're responsible to guard your dream. You're responsible to bring that dream to reality by doing what? By safeguarding it and by protecting it. You have a responsibility. Come on now. And so I, I want to talk real quickly about the enemies of your potential. Come on. Hey, Reverend Bio. Praise yeah, the Bio. Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Give it up for Reverend Bio. <laughs> Financial Business Conference is coming in. Hallelujah. Coming on uh, next, uh, next next Friday week. and yep. next Saturday, the yep. 17th, the and the 18th. So Amen. you have not to have your tickets. Come on. You need Get to go tickets. ahead and make sure you <laughs> um, uh, That's it, Pam. Amen. You should keep pressing on. Uh, God is my source. Come on. Mm -hmm. God is my source. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. And mm -hmm. I want to just shout out Legacy Prep Academy, Dr. Kathy Kirkland, for mm -hmm. being one of our seed sponsors, Blama. We're just All so right. Grateful. And just Praise so thank God. you, give it up, somebody. Just type yes. uh, Dr. Kathy in the chat, Legacy Prep Academy, yes. uh, seed sponsor. We're just grateful and just so thankful. And we're thanking God for all the other sponsors that are coming in. Come on. If you've had your ticket, I want you to go ahead and say, I've had my ticket for Supernatural Business Conference because you're going to have to be in the room. You're going to have to understand that the supernatural is a divine necessity for you to step into the promised land. Come on. Right. A divine necessity for you to step into the promised land. promised land put dr kathy next to that up kathy kirkland yes. and so and 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 so we need we need the supernatural to be able to possess the land and all that god has for us we're talking right now about the enemies of potential and the first enemy of potential is disobedience <laughs> mm. wow that's the first enemy yeah because the yeah. bible states that disobedience Come withholds on. god's blessings and rains his curses upon us you just look at deuteronomy you go right into deuteronomy, deuteronomy 28, and it's right yeah. here deuteronomy right right and yeah. so we got to be able Blessed to understand curses. you know jonah right jonah learned the consequences of disobedience when he oh, yes. boarded a ship going in the opposite <laughs> direction from the city that god was sending him right or wrong oh, oh yes <laughs> and this is why you got to be careful who's on your ship Mm. because wow. if you have jonah on the ship come on here somebody when that storm starts to come that storm is really coming come on now for jonah not for you Ooh. who is on your ship who is on your ship oh boy be careful how you fellow careful. ship <laughs> my yes. goodness he almost lost his life by drowning come on now yes. come on now now also look at lot's wife right mm. look at uh, ruth ann says she has her ticket come on ruth ann Let's yes, go. yes yes Let's yes yes yeah so lot's wife in spite of god's commandment not to look back sacrifice her life for one last look at the city that she was fleeing uh, from. Turn back. Guys, disobedience. Somebody type disobedience in caps in the mm. chat. Disobedience always wastes potential and retards the attainment of goals. Disobedience. Come on. And you cannot persist in disobedience and maximize your potential. Jesus. And so to maximize your life, you must submit to God's will in everything. Amen. All right. That's the first one. First Amen. enemy of your potential is disobedience. Yeah. Second uh, uh, enemy of your potential is sin. Somebody type sin in there. You mm -hmm. know, Brahma, we don't type of, talk about sin anymore as much. Why is that? Uh, everything's hyper grace now. It's, it's no, <laughs> like you can't do any wrong. It's like we there's extremes. Like, wait a minute, God is still on the throne. His word is wow. still true. He hasn't wow. changed. Wow. We wow. may change, wow. but he hasn't changed. He's still mm -hmm. God of holiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Woo! And so sin Lord. in essence says, I know better than you do, God, how to run my life. Mm. 
I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, that's rebellion. And you, we, we, we see what happened with, with King David, right? That's right. How he experienced desolation and death that result from a rebellious spirit when he violated right. another man's wife yeah. and tried to cover up his action by having the woman's husband killed in battle and taking her for wife. The son born to King David from this affair died. And guess what? David endured the agony of separation mm. from the very God that he loved. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And so Psalm 51, 9 to 12, it says, hide your face from my sin and blot out all of my iniquities. Yeah. Create in me a pure heart, O God, yeah. and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do yeah. not cast me away from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore yeah. to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. And mm. so destroying your relationship with God through sin is always suicidal. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my, 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 my. Mm. So you cannot become who God created mm. you to be if you persist in rebelling against him. Oh, that is so good. Mm. That is so good. Without God's spirit living and working in you, you will die with your potential. Whew. Because guess what? Sin caps your potential. Come on. I'll say wow. that again. Sin, mm. Ruth Ann, will Cap. cap our potential. And so to maximize your life, you must avoid compromise with ungodliness. Mm. Wow, that is no, we don't talk about stuff like this anymore. <laughs> At all. I don't hear I don't hear this message anywhere anymore. <laughs> Fish, number three is fear. Type in fear, mm -hmm. all uppercase, fear, oh, sin man. uppercase S-I-N, uh, yeah. fear uppercase F-E-A-R. But in the chat, fear. fear the third enemy of your potential. Good to Come know on. your enemies, guys. Good to Come know. On. Good to know. <laughs> fear is having faith in the impossible. <laughs> It's Woo! doing it all that could go wrong instead of what will go right. <laughs> wow. 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 And wow. I love this right here. As a lad, David met Goliath with a slingshot and three stones. Come on. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure he probably, you know, who knows? Maybe he was afraid, right? But yet, because he mastered his fear by yes. trusting in God yes. instead of thinking about all that could go wrong. That's it. That's the key. Have you ever had situations where immediately <laughs> things just start going in your mind that things are going wrong? Yes. Uh, come on. We have come to on. be able to understand what that oh, is. Oh, man. <laughs> this is... Angela, that just ex that, that got me excited because I'm just thinking loud. How many people, are, especially entrepreneurs and people in business, they are literally hindered by fear. Hindered. They're, they're like, like. It paralyzes have, you. Yeah, paralyzed. It's like they see all the enemies and, and God's saying, no, focus on me. Like you said, trust. But the key is trusting in God trusting and trusting what God. his word said. That's like, it. Focus on his word. His word should be in front of you all the time. What people That's are it. saying, keep his word in front of you. When the enemies start to say, speak loud, keep his word in front of you. Come when on. lies start coming, get his word in front of you. What does promise say? That's what David Come did. On. David Come meditated on. On, his, on. on his word day and night. Wow. Woo. My goodness. He God, has, God has to be bigger than, than, than your God circumstance. Has, than your circumstances. That's it. That's the key. God has to become big. So you have to be obsessed. You have to be uh, uh, immersed. You got to be a person that people say, this person is crazy. Yeah, that's like, it, that's people it, thought yeah. David was crazy. They're like, hey, right. who's this kid coming to battle? Grown men are afraid of Goliath. Goliath was a champion. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come wow. on. You know, so we see David here mastering his fear by trusting God instead of thinking about all that could go wrong. Come on now. Come on. He freed he freed the Israelites from the oppression of their enemies and honored the name of God. Hallelujah. Wow. His faith in God moved him beyond timidity to power. Ooh. Type that in the chat. From timidity <laughs> to power. From timidity to power. Why? Because of his trust in God. Come on here, somebody. Hallelujah. Fear in seeing Goliath too big to hit. Come on. Who's your Goliath today? Yeah. What's your Goliath today? <laughs> Faith God. is seeing Goliath too big to miss. Come on here, somebody. Mm. My goodness. Paul wrote to Timothy about this ability to move beyond fear. Somebody type that in the chat. Moving beyond fear. It says, fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity. 
Come on now. But a spirit of power, a spirit of love and self-discipline. Woo-wee. My goodness. Glory to God. My, 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 my. I was just I was just thinking I, the, the word just came to mind when you said that about power, love, and 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 self-discipline. I just thought about you know where it says where there's no vision of people perish, but happy to see that keep up the law. So when you have purpose in your life, you're automatically gonna be focused. You're not gonna get distracted. That's it. That's because you're focused. God's giving you a purpose. You're focused on God and the purpose you put in your life. Ain't nothing gonna take you away from that. That's it. That's it. That's it. You know, and, and it's his laws because this book right here is a legal document. That's right. What's in here? The new and the old testament. What's that? That those are legal words. The word, the law. Huh? That's what the kingdom is all about, Blama. The kingdom, yeah. So we got to get the kingdom so, citizen is all about about yeah. maintaining his laws. It's not about, you know, I'm I'm, I'm doing what I want to do and you have fun, you know, but it's all about his laws. So, so, so Angela, so you're basically saying if I decide today, if I'm watching this program today and I decide, Angela, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to stop reading my PNLs more than I read my Bible. I'm going to stop looking at the newspapers more than I read my Bible. If I stop watching the TV more than I read my Bible, I'm going to go from timidity to power. Come on. That's it. That's wow. it. That's, that's a it. promise. That's it. That is a promise. Yeah. That is a promise. You know, because the more you read this, Blama, what happens? The more you recognize who you are. The more you're build up in your faith, the more you're able to walk in your identity, the more you're able to walk in the power of who God says you are in yeah. Christ. In Christ. Come on now. Yeah. And then you're able to have access to all that he left for us here. Hallelujah. But you can't claim what's in here if you don't know what's in here. That's it. My people are just sure because of lack of knowledge. <laughs> Remember yeah. the story of the man who went on the cruise. And he's sitting down all the way in the bottom deck and now eating his sandwich that he brought with him. Mm -hmm. And his entire ticket included, uh, 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 what do you call it when the buffet is free, when the food is free? Uh, yeah. uh, um, uh, was it a complimentary? Like, it was a, oh. All inclusive. Oh, oh, yeah, all, oh, yeah, all included. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. All of his meals was included, but he brought his sandwiches with him, Ruth Ann. <laughs> on a 15 day journey drinking water and bringing a sandwich <laughs> when he could have been having steaks and filet mignon and, oh. and lobster and, oh, and uh, you know all the finer things when we took the, the, the yes. group on the, on the cruise and you yes. know we had dinner every night together at 6 o'clock and yes. they would say what do you want for dinner you yeah. know, and then my husband's like, I want this and I want that. And Juanita's like, I want this and I want that. And that one is yeah. like, I want this and I want that. Come on here, somebody. <laughs> but can you imagine the person while you're up there being wined and dined and you could even take back to your room what you want. You eat 24-7. They got restaurants open 24-7 because it's all a part of the package. The package. The package. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Holy and, 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 you know, here comes this man who does not know that he has... Access to the package. Access. Come on. <laughs> so, oh, open book test. <laughs> he, he, he hears the music, Blama. Yes, yes. He smells the food, Blama. Oh, wow. But he did not realize until the cruise was ending mm. that that was a part of the benefit that he had. Come on, talk to me. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we, we need yeah. to be able to know, guys, we need. Yeah. And the more we spend time yes. in his word. Yes. 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 Joshua 1, 8 and 9. Yes. It's just meditate. Meditate. Day From and my day. word day and night. Yeah. Day and night. But then shall you make your way prosperous. <laughs> Glory to God. And then will you have good success? And that's the success we want, that lasting oh. success. We don't want success based on economical trends. <laughs> mm -hmm. We want that lasting success. Yeah. Reverend Bio said ignorance of his covenant blend benefits. Correct, Reverend Bio. That's it. <laughs> you know, saying living in the guest house when you own the mansion. Looking at <laughs> people over there in that mansion. Ain't that nice? One day I just wish that God would just bless me mm. and and, uh, and 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 give me a house like that. Well, hello, it's yours. That's it. 
You see what I'm saying? And so this is why we need to be able to understand what is in this word and everything that we need is in the word, right? Okay, so we talk about fear. Okay, we're going to jump real fast. We're going to then number four is discouragement, discouragement. And so most things worth having patience and perseverance. Ooh, that's strong. You know, no pen is placed perfectly the first time they touch the keys. That's strong. (laughs) Come on. Nor does an athlete Come win a on. race the first time he runs. Nope. Many discouraging moments exist between an initial experience and the perfection of a skill. Mm. Do not despise the day of small beginnings. That part. Unfortunately, mo- much potential is sacrificed on the altar of discouragement. Come on. Take that to the bank. Come on here. Come on here. Come on here. Angela, it's, I feel like that's like a that's like one of those keys that opened a big door right there that people miss. Yeah. 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 Potential sacrifice on the altar of discouragement. There it is. Being easy to give up. Easy to give up. Yeah. Guys, how, you, how, 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 how do you build that perseverance? How do you build that patience? Being 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 able to have vision, mm. being able to know what God said to you about what your assignment is, Blama, mm-hmm. and to be steadfast. To be unmovable, unmovable, to be unstoppable. Unstoppable. Does not matter when the wind blows. <laughs> it don't matter when the rain comes. Hallelujah. Yeah. You yeah. gotta be steadfast. Yeah. And that comes from a relationship. Relation. That's it. Yeah, that's the key. A relationship. Yeah. If a mother tells a child, "Stay here," yeah. and that Amen. child is obedient, having listened to the voice of that parent. Yes. That's so it good. don't matter. So that good. child will stay there and wait until that parent comes Ooh. back. Amen. If you have trained and disciplined your children, yes, 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 to yes, be yes. able to know how to discern your voice, mm-hmm. how to recognize your voice, mm. and you are not going back and forth with them. You're consistent in your discipline. You yes. are consistent in your parenting. So yes. when you say, as my husband would say, "I say what I say, and I meant what I meant." Amen. <laughs> So yeah, if that child good. knows your voice and you yeah. tell that child, stay mm-hmm. here mm-hmm. and you go and you come back, there may have been some challenging situation, but that child would say, but my mom and dad says, stay right here. Mm-hmm. That's, so good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> yeah, we need, Angela, this is not what we're, we need right now. As a, We need this in society because we have such a microwave culture and mentality. People, if they don't get it right away, they don't have their way. They like give up, they crumble, you know. Like there's, there's not that's like you said, that steadfastness. Like, no, yeah. this is what the father said. I'm gonna stand right here. That's People it. don't know how to stand. That's it. That's it. Yeah. The Bible said, having done all to stand, do what? Stand. Stand. Because you got to understand, it's not about us. It's the Christ in us. Come on. But again, that comes from relationship. That comes with teaching. That's why we're setting aside Blama. Two days. Two days. <laughs> Revelation knowledge flowing. <laughs> to take you through yes. the teaching. Yes. So that you can be sharpened. Yes. That's what I keep telling you. I hear him. It's sharpen. a sharpening. Sharpening. You got to be sharp. Yeah. And the enemy knows if you're dull. You ever see a dull pencil? Can't even write with that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it does even not the write. very pencil we write with, Reverend Bayer, we got to put in a sharpener and, and sharpen it. So it not, you know, Amen. strong point. And then the writing can look bright. Mm. A dull pencil ain't do nothing for nobody. <laughs> mm. oh, oh, my goodness. Wow, 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 wow. Mm-hmm. God will not give you a dream unless he knows you have the talents, mm-hmm. unless he knows you have the abilities, mm-hmm. unless he knows you have the personality to complete it. Mm-hmm. His commands reveal the potential he gave you before you were born. Wow. You're perfect for your assignment, yeah. <laughs> but you have to know that. Mm. The Bible commanded Joshua to be courageous. We talked about that. Even though Joshua did not feel courageous, God knew that courage was in him. And guess what? He commanded him to show what was there. <laughs> Come on. He commanded him to show. Come on. And that's another thing. When you think about command, you think about military. 
Yes, you know, I'm I'm gonna gonna this quick for those that are in the service. If Amen. You serve, I salute you. Absolutely. I Honor. love the way they move. I love the yes. way they speak. I love the, the order. I've always yes. been a child that loves order. It just yes. does something to me. When yes. I'm in chaotic, chaotic, when I'm in chaotic, chaotic. environments, mm -hmm. it messes me up. Yeah. And so it is with my children. I wow. love order. Like I yes. will work for anybody that's orderly. You, you just you don't matter. As long as you you run the ship, I'm there to serve. Yeah. I love, I love that. I love the military. I, I love what I see. You know, when they yeah, call somebody, they say, well, well, why are you calling me? No, they just show up and salute and do That's whatever. Right. They want. Yes, sir. No, sir. That's right. That's, that's right. Order, man. That's order. I'm attracted to that, Blama. I'm attracted that's, to that. And Angela, that's kingdom. The and kingdom. That's kingdom. People miss that. that that's, that's why you're so attracted to it, because that's kingdom. God created things in order. You know, there's king of kings, the Lord of lords. <laughs> you know? King of Kings, Lord Come of on. Lords, the Commonwealth, right? Ooh. He is angels. We were talking about last week about angels that do his bidding. He mm. delegates. Mm. God moves. Mm. In, this mm. is how God wants us to move in our businesses. This is how God wants to represent him to the mm. nations mm. Mm. for mm. us to be effective because the kingdom mm. is effective. The That's kingdom it. is advancing. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And we and we we have a king. And when he rolls out what we're supposed to do, we don't question and say, no. well, 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 why am I going to do that? Yeah, that's that's you know, the, when, our, when our kids were growing yeah. up, it was listen and obey Amen. without delay. You'll be that's happy good. all the way. Come on, <laughs> Amen. That's good. <laughs> For us as adults. That's it. Don't change. Listen and obey, obey. without delay. Yes. You'll be happy all the way. Yes. And so when an officer yes. tells one of the soldiers and he gives him a command. If that soldier questions that command, what happens? Oh, he gets punished. All right, that part. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's 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 in, that's insubordination, right? So they that's put it. you through boot camp, right? Yeah, that's, that's it. So Do these are things that are kingdom values. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And so we must respond the same way that God's command, because it's not Amen. about how you feel. You know, I can't question this word. I can't Come change on. this. This is Amen. His word. This is right. Father's word. Come on now. Yeah. It's a difference mind, between having a father and recognize him as your father, Amen. recognize him as a king. Yes, yes. I did not grow up with a biological father, Blama, but I mm -hmm. honor fatherhood. Amen. Do the teaching that I have received. Mm. It's very easy for a young woman that did not grow up with a father to resent fatherhood. Amen. And I yeah. thank God for the teaching that I have received on fatherhood. So you learn to respect fatherhood. You learn to honor fatherhood. And that's how we honor the father heart of God. Come on now. Don't even take me over there. So, so it's very, very important that, 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 <laughs> that we need to understand that to maximize life, we must neutralize discouragement with hope. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Woo, number five, number five, number five, number five. We're going real quick. Procrastination. Oh, there you go. That's what you said. Without delay, right? Obey without delay. <laughs> you walk, Lama, you'll be what? Happy all day. All the way to the bank. All the way to the bank. Yes. <laughs> all the way to the bank. Hallelujah. Money loves speed. <laughs> all the way to the bank. <laughs> you have to, well, you know, I know God told me to do it. But I'm still praying. If God told you to do it. What are you praying about? Huh, Reverend right. Biden? What are, what are they praying about? What, 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 what's taking you so long? Procrastination. It's an excuse. You know, I, I could appreciate somebody who, who moves. If they're going to do, I don't know if Annie's on here, but Annie don't mm. play. My girl, she don't play. Annie's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, just, let me just knock this Come thing on. out. Let me get it. Let me get Come her on. done. Yeah. You know, you know, I called yeah. Sue yesterday. Sue, I need it. Bam. You know, come I mean, on. It's like, come on, speed. come on, come on. Because so, cre speed creates momentum. Speed if you're creates a momentum. And that's why some folks are going at turtle speed. And then you got somebody <laughs> like me that shows up on the scene and they're like, Whoa. <laughs> Hold on. Why you got so much going on? Why are you doing so much? Why are you? Listen, I'm flowing in my purpose. I'm the hey, man. All is well. All is well. <laughs> I, I was and then you hit the word. You said, "I'm flowing." Yeah, that's living water. See, that that's a difference. See, when you when Reverend Bible talks about this all the time about revelation knowledge, mm -hmm. understanding the, the the voice of your father. You mm -hmm. can discern his voice. You don't gotta stop. You're always listening. Stop. 
Just keeping going, keeping going, yes. keeping going. And, you're and when going. you're flowing in the kingdom, I showed Go somebody on. my my calendar for today. They said, "You gonna do what? You wake up at what? At five o'clock in the morning, and you gonna do what? And you gonna do what? And you got four interviews, what? And you're doing that, what? Yes. And you're doing a commercial too, what? Yes. Yes. Girl, you're doing too much, and then you got to go into prayer, and then you go come and do secret sauce. Mm -mm, yeah. Too much. <laughs> well, I mean, you made your choice right there. <laughs> what? Yeah, you made your point. Your choice. You know, like that's the thing. The Lord gives us a He gives us a choice. You know, we can either walk with a, with a tree of life or a tree of good and evil. And that's the good it. and evil is the flesh. Oh, you know, I don't feel like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. this you is hard. Pull, you pull by your feelings, God will. You will never be able to do great things for the kingdom of God. Amen. That's it. I think because that's the, the key thing about right it is that you can't feel and mm. serve the King. I feel. Like, I don't feel like I want to wake up. God, if you don't, you, that's okay. Then, then yeah. that's okay. You keep sleeping. The Bible talks about the person who sleeps a lot. Oh, lazy. <laughs> and so poverty will come to you. Ooh, like an armed man. <laughs> and then he compares the ant. When's the last time you see an ant taking a nap? Amen. Yes. In the middle of a summer. No, honey, ant, yes. ant's working. Even the Lord talks about the ant. We did a whole a, session on a the whole ant. Study. Didn't we do yes. a whole session on the ant? A whole study on the ant. Come on, Amazing. Now. Amazing. Come on. Come on. And so we have to be able to understand, you know, you have to, and we're talking about the number three and we're talking about introspection and really Come look on. at how you do things. And are you being stretched? Because mm. I'm telling you, growth comes when you're placed in a perpetual state of discomfort. Uh-oh. <laughs> Many of us, every time potential shows up, Lama, we do this. Every so often you come face to face with your potential face wow. to face with your assignment and you keep doing this, wow. you know? So what happened if you suppress it, you, you know, then what will happen is just, you just keep moving at your slow space. And then you look at others and say, well, why am I not there? Why have I not been able to accomplish this? Why have I not been able to do this? Why, why are they always doing all of that? Mm -hmm. They're doing all of that because they're just moving in the flow. They have Amen. discovered a flow. There's something wow. about when you Good. find your flow. Amen. Okay. That's Somebody so say, let the supernatural flow. Let the supernatural flow. <laughs> to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. So procrastination. <laughs> the delaying of action until a later time. And what does that later time does? It kills potential. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 11.4. We got a rap, Lama. Yeah. It says, if you wait for perfect conditions, you'll never get anything done. Uh-oh. Well, I can't go <laughs> to the supernatural business because oh, I'm having it on the 17th. Oh. I can't be there on the 17th. Oh, I got no. this going on. I oh, got no. that going on. I can't yes. come to Aruba this year. I'll come next year. You put the date next year. I can't come next uh -oh. year either. Stop making excuses. Come on. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Wow. I can't sponsor because I can't do this. I can't, but I want to. Oh, Angela, I want to. Oh, God has already spoken to my heart, but you can't do it because you're making all these excuses. You're gonna have to just Amen. reflect, as we said, we're talking. Come on, we're not putting anybody down. It's but just time. Like I'm doing introspection. Yeah. You need to do in, in introspection in your life. What is it that? What is it? Not necessarily what you want, but what does God want through your life? Amen. I know what Amen. I wanted to do. I saw yeah. Angela. I've started law school, didn't finish. The only Amen. thing I started and didn't finish. I saw me. I thought I was going to be an attorney. I was going to be this big time judge. I was, yeah, but mm. God had another plan for me. He mm. said, I want you to study my law. Woo! I had no revelation of the kingdom back then, but those were the words he gave me. Annie, you know that because we we wow. we we had children together at the same time. Wow. So you know, to God be the glory. You see what I'm saying? Wow. And so, what is it that God? Know? What I'm doing today is wow. not what I wanted to do. Would I ever raise my hand to do this? Absolutely not. Wow. <laughs> wow. So not what you want, brothers and sisters. But what does the King want with your life? Mm. He paid a price for your life. It's called the cross. Amen. Come on. He shed his blood on Calvary for you. Come it's on. the cross. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So you could walk in the victory and fulfill the assignment that he has for you. Destiny is crying out for you. Hallelujah. And so procrastination, we're going to have to pay very close attention to this, often grows out of discouragement. Mm. And so when we become discouraged, we stop finding reasons for doing what we know we can do. 
Mm -hmm. Then God allows us to go our own way and suffer the consequences. Sooner or later, we will discover that we've lost much because we refuse to act when God requires it. Guys, there's a time, a set time under heaven. Mm. <laughs> and Amen. so procrastination is a serious en uh, enemy of potential. It eats mm. away at the very core of our time and motivation. Mm. To maximize your life, you must destroy procrastination by eliminating all excuses and yeah. reason for not taking action. Hallelujah. And that company again that says, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> just do it. That's right. <laughs> That's it. Put in the chat. Just do it. Just do it. Come just on. Do it. Just do, do it. The, Angela, I was thinking this. Two words that I, I think found they found, they've lost favor in society today. That's so important. To what you just said. It's duty and obligation. Those are military terms. Duty and obligation. And when we understand that we're soldiers for Christ, we understand we have duty and obligation to represent the kingdom and to represent Him well. That's and it. what you just did powerfully was very powerful for me. Was you said, "Hey, reflect on the cross. What did Jesus do for us?" Come if he, if I, if I, if, if no man is greater than his master, then what makes us think that we cannot go through suffering, cannot go through trials? That's it. That's it. And humiliation. And humiliation Come for on his now. glory. Come for his on. glory. Come on. So the next Good. time you try to look at yourself and lick your wounds, you ain't got no wounds to lick. Yes, absolutely. Think awesome. about what he went through. Yes. And and it's not about just in April when it's. Come on, Easter. Come, Come on, on here, somebody. You got to know the power of the cross and the resurrected power. Hallelujah. Come on. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 our why. You know, they, in business they talk about what's your why. What you? That's our why. <laughs> Come on, that's, that's every day. That's it. <laughs> we need to wrap up. Number okay. six is past failures. Too often we're unwilling to take risk in the present because we have failed in the past. Ah. Woo! So many failure is never a reason to stop trying. Indeed, failure provides another opportunity to enjoy success. Yeah. Let's look at the Apostle Paul. Discovered yeah. the truth of this when he met Jesus and turned from persecuting Christ to preaching the good news of God's salvation in him. Come on here. You Ooh. just read Philippians 3, 12 to 16. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I don't even think I want to go into that because we ain't going. But I'm going to go into it. And we're going to wrap it up. We'll save the others for them. He says, Amen. I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. He yes. says, brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind, come on here, Ooh, somebody, that's and it. straining forward to what is yes. ahead. Yes. <laughs> I press on towards the goal to win the prize yes. for what God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Come on. That's All it. of us who are mature should, should take on such a view of things. Hey, Only man. let us live up to what we have already attained. Come yes, on. forgetting Come on. what's behind me. I love that. <laughs> Allow them from keeping him from doing what he knew he could do. Yes. He, Paul knew this. Paul knew that yes. God has called him to serve. Amen. God has called him to serve him, and that will be accomplished within him all the things that God has purposed for him. And so we yes. need to be able to understand this, guys. Amen. Philippians 3, 8 to 9, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them rubbish, Blama, that Ooh. I may gain Christ and be yeah. found in him, yes. not having righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God and is by faith. Philippians 3, 8 to 9. You know the word righteousness, guys? That's a legal word. Mm. It's a legal word. It's not a religious word. It's a mm. kingdom. It's a legal word. Mm. And so to God be the glory. So I pray that this has stirred something up on the inside of you. I pray that wow. next time we come back, just remind me to finish up. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got one more, I think. <laughs> I pray yeah. that it has stirred up a hunger on the inside of you and a mm. thirst on the inside of you. You know, come to the river, come to the well that will never run dry. Mm, yes. And so many of us, Blama, are running off of E, spiritually E, dry. 
You know, like water, somebody was talking about today, I think it was Tamia, and the amount of water that we need in our bodies, in our body, I don't know what the composition is. What's the composition? You're welcome, Hallie. What's the composition of the water in our body? Is it like 70% or 80%? I think it's 80%, yeah, 80% water, close to 80% water. And no water. different, the water of the word. Come on here. Wow, spiritual man. Spiritual yeah. man. Yeah. You know, when I, when I go for my infusion, you know, mm. if I have enough you know she'll uh elise who's one of her partners also she'll she'll tap, 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 and she was like oh girl you need to drink more water interesting about that if we're not immersed in the word we're dry or our bones are brittle Ooh, uh, that's a whole revelation that's coming right there reverend bio uh, and so we need to understand uh, the important drama of just just hungering and 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 the Perfect. only the, the 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 only satisfaction that we get is not in things you can no. get today and 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 24 hours later you don't want that anymore you get a job today 24 right. hours later you don't want that anymore because right. it's a job <laughs> right you get a you 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 get a a mansion today and then then one week later i don't want this anymore you you right. get a brand new car the car that you desired i don't want that anymore you work right. so hard to get a particular degree and then you get it and you're like i don't know i don't want to do this anymore mm. you know what what, 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 what what are you what, what what do you want wow come to the well mm. that never shall run dry you need your hallelujah. cup filled your spirit hallelujah, hallelujah. That's what you will get filled when you come to Supernatural Business Conference. Hallelujah. Yes. It's about to not only be filled, honey, but it's about to run over. <laughs> yes, that's right. Hallelujah. Your yes. cup is about to overflow. 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 Because overflow. Who can, look at my water. I'm just about done. <laughs> and then what can I pour out to you? That's right. Nothing. Nothing. How could you give somebody something out of this? Mm. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Mm -hmm. How could you be pouring out of something that there's nothing there? That's amazing. Thank you, Father. Amen. <laughs> yeah, if, if there's anybody, if there's anybody that's watching this right now and you're hearing this and you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. this is an opportunity. You know, right here, this program you watch, you may be watching. I know people that watch Angel, they watch you all over the world. <laughs> it's funny. I'm I'm in different places and they're like, Oh, I I, I watch you. I see yes. you on that show and yes, yeah, Secret Sauce. And I was like, whoa, 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 different countries. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I mean, this is an opportunity to you know, it, 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 maybe you fell away from the Lord. Maybe you that fire, like Angel's saying, you, you know, that hunger and thirst is not there anymore, hasn't been there. You, you know, you're like, hey, I'm missing something. This is an opportunity to recommit your life to Christ because you won't get anything if you're going halfway. You can't walk this walk halfway. You got to be on fire. This has to be your everything. This has to be the number one thing in your life, you know, and this would transform every area of your life. The Lord will speak to you. He'll guide you. He'll lead you. You walk into purpose. You walk into destiny. You walk into that potential that Angel is talking about. But you can't do that if you're going by your own volition, if you're going by your own thoughts, because man is wise in his own eyes, but only the Lord knows all. Because we're so fearfully and wonderfully made in him. So for somebody who has never Obama, accepted Jesus Christ in their heart as their Lord and Savior, you know, we want to be able to lead you through that salvation prayer. Yes. right? Now. And for those of you that may have missed the mark. And it's very important that we understand. Paul, can you grab my book from here, Haley, please? The your gift or the other one. It's very, very important that we understand the importance of reconnecting with our king. Because until you reconnect, you have absolutely no rights. Yeah. Amen. You call him the name, but you ain't have no right because you ain't got no relationship. Relationship, yeah. And that's what the cross was all about. It gave us an opportunity. You know, Blama, my life changed when I accepted Jesus Christ in my heart as my Lord and my Savior. Amen. And I thank the, I thank, I, I thank God every day for Tom for not giving up on me, invited me to Bible study over and over. And I said, Yeah, I came up with every excuse in the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. And who would have known what my life would be like today? Wow. And so I believe that God is giving all of us an opportunity, guys, to be able to recommit. Yeah. Your life 
to the king. And even if you have, even if you have missed the mark, even if maybe at one point you were born again, at one point, you know, you were on fire for God and maybe, um, you know, people or, or what, what, whatever may, may have caused you to, 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 to move away from God. I'm here to tell you tonight that he wants you to come back to him. Your father wants you to have that relationship with yeah. him. It is only through that relationship, guys, that you will be able to, 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 to really find that peace. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on now. Hallelujah. Thank and being you. able to fulfill your assignment. So I want you to, I want you to repeat this after me. I want you to say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly I come Father. to you in the name of Jesus. And your word says, whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's in Acts 2.21. And so I'm calling on you, Father. I pray and I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be Lord over my life, according to Romans 10, 9 and 10. And what does that scripture say? It says, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And so I do that now. Come on now. I do that now. Say that, Blama. I do that now. Yeah, now. I confess that Jesus is Lord. I confess that Jesus is Lord. And I believe in my heart. Believe in my heart. That God has raised him from the dead. God has raised him from the dead. I'm now reborn. I'm now reborn. I'm a, I'm a child of the king. I'm a child of the king. Child of Almighty God. I'm a child of Almighty God. I am saved. I am saved. <laughs> Come on, and I have access now. And I, I have, have access, 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 access. Come on to all that he has for me, to God. All that he has for me. Amen. You guys, I'm telling you, with that, I'm telling you, you let us know if this is the first time. Yes. That pray that prayer, that sinner's prayer. I prayed it. Hallelujah. I prayed it in Pastor Arthur's uh, living room. Mm -hmm. And with that, I gave my life to God. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I became adopted into the royal family. To God be the glory. And my life has never been the same. I wonder what God has for your life. I just wonder what he has for you. I wonder what he has for you. Not what men say, but, but, but who does God say that you are? Mm. What does God place on the inside of you? What is your assignment here on planet Earth? And guys, in this third month is a very significant month for you to go hard for God. Yeah. Go hard. When you go hard for him, those things that you have struggled with, suddenly things are just going to start working for you. Yeah. When you put your hands to will be blessed. Yeah. Come on. When you sow into the kingdom of God, you're going to receive blessings like never before. And I'm just not talking just about money. No, that's important if he tells you to sow. Mm -hmm. But when you sow of your time, Mm -hmm. When you sow of yourself, mm -hmm. when you make time for him, I'm mm -hmm. telling you, it changes everything. So what does that have to do with business, Angela? It has everything to do with everything. <laughs> Hallelujah. God be the glory. I pray you are blessed. But I'm going to take them to the site real quickly to show them yeah. how to get their tickets. Guys, I don't care which part of the world you are. Come in. Reverend Bayo is here from Lagos, Nigeria. Hallelujah. If Reverend Bayo could come in from Lagos, Nigeria, so can you. We have absolutely no excuse. It's taking place next Friday. And next Saturday, block out the time. And what? And no matter what's on your schedule, guys, there's nothing more important than for you to just come and sit and receive what the Father has for you. You know why? Because we don't know what you will become. We don't know what he has in store for you. Just mm -hmm. like how I never knew. Okay, you could take them through, Blama, over to so, this kingdom. Yeah, chamber. so this is kingdomchamber.commerce.org. And then if you scroll down, right there. Let me click on here and this will take us right to the event page and then right there you can go and get your tickets yeah and i think you still have until tonight guys to register to get the early eagle early. special yeah yeah and there the price is going to increase so the thing yeah. about it, no more procrastination and i know those of you that have been in this teaching you understand that uh, go ahead and just say, you know what? And and even if 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 the finances has not yet manifested, just say, I ain't got no money, so I ain't no going. No, you're going. You mm. tell me, I'll be there. Hallelujah. You need to take your phone, put it on your schedule, Come on. write it. If you're mm. traveling, start working, and on. you're believing God that you're going to buy your ticket. Yes. So somebody's going to bless me. No, you believe God that you're going to buy your ticket. Amen. <laughs> That's right. That's Hallelujah. right. 
because there's something about Blamba when we get to that wow. place now where, where we're dealing with a situation like this, wow. right? Wow. And when you start telling yourself, oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to go, guess what happened? Everything else just move out the way. Yes. Wow. Mountains are removed. Yes. Amen. And so you need to tell yourself, I'll be there. You need to see yourself in the room. Take your clothes out. I'll wear this for Friday. Ooh, I'll wear of course. This Saturday. Yes. You're going. It's like when yes. we go to Aruba. Aruba is yes. coming as well. Yes. July the 27th, the 26th, the 29th. I said, see yourself there. See your passport. See your, you know, mm. you've got to be able. That's why God gave us this beautiful thing called an imagination. Ooh, come on. Get <laughs> there. Yes. You See yourself at this event, making connection, guys. All it takes is one person. And this is why we got to be very intentional people. That's what VIP is, right? Very intentional people. Mm. You already see yourself here. You, I'm telling you, your blessing is in a place. And that's yeah. why we say to folks, listen, for those of you that are in business, when you sponsor an event, when you help yes. to underwrite the cost for an event, you know what you're doing? You're putting yourself in a position now that as other people are being blessed from it, it, it is credited to your account. Debit, oh. credit. Dang, Come on man. Ooh, credit wow. in your account. You'll never see wow. sponsorship the same. When you wow. have your name on that list and we say we want to thank XYZ and, and like Legacy Prep Academy and, and, and whoever it is that's sponsoring, if we, we look at it as an expense, guys, it cannot be an expense for the kingdom of God. Call right. it an expense when you're making your car payment. That's an expense. Right. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Your lives are being changed. Yeah. And when you see a room where people are being blessed where the mm -hmm. teaching is coming forth with the right. regulatory teaching, Blama. Right. Teaching right, with right, regulation right. Yeah. that's causing contraction on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before mm -hmm. you know it, you know, you're you're in a position now that you're about to give mm -hmm. birth to what has been placed on the inside of you. But that mm -hmm. would never happen. Mary, Elizabeth never experienced what was happening to her until Mary showed up. All right, Blama, you better stop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I think everything. I mean, everything's been pretty made clear. And then and here's another thing too. Uh, you guys always say, "Hey, look, you know, they can reach out to you. They if they can, they can call you guys. They can email you guys if they're they have the desire to do that. Whether they want to sponsor or they want to get they want to get tickets to the event, nothing stops you from reaching out because you never know what type of door may be available." And, and 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 what can open up if you already set your your, your, your yourself in that place yeah and in the season yeah. see yourself don't look for a hookup yeah. just just stop there if that's god wants to bless you that way that's fine that beyonce's ticket was sold out when they sold out i mean i mean oh yeah on. fast yeah like in a couple a come couple on. days come on yeah. come on I saw the tickets. Michael say Michael Sayer. He's one of the big Bitcoin billionaires, and you know I I've been been to Bitcoin. Yeah. And I saw a conference that he's having thousands of dollars. You know what I mean? It's like people just running for these tickets. Come on here. Right. Right. <laughs> I think the question is: Are you hungry and are you thirsty? If that you're part. thirsty, it's going to happen. You know. That part. That yeah. part. So, so yeah. you just tell yourself that you know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be there and, and, and I'll make it happen. Because one thing I know about us as human beings, Blama, anything that's important for us, whether it's a crew <laughs> or whatever, that's we'll right. find the money. We'll, we'll find, find the way. Money. We'll find a way. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so, I love you guys. I, I um, you know, I thank the Lord. I look forward to seeing you guys. We may have one more secret sauce, I believe, before, before yep. the uh, Supernatural Business Conference. Yep. And if we're not supposed to have a, if we're not to, ha if we weren't having a a, a secret sauce, it'd be fine because you got enough tonight to take you through for the entire year, enough to get you rather to the supernatural uh, business conference. And Reverend Fire was there, and we have a surprise speaker. Oh, we have a surprise, a surprise. I'm not. Oh. Will change your life. Oh wow! Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> until friday night yeah it will be revealed yeah so i thank god for you i thank god that you're moving quickly you're gathering your ticket and those of you that are in a position to get additional tickets buy tickets for others bring your family members there who are you believing god for what are you believing god for right. you know believing god for salvation for your family i'm believing god for salvation bring the tribe bring your family out 
Bring your mm. friends out. Invite your customers out. Come on, guys. Mm. And you know what? The thing about it, it's 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 all about them making that connection with their creator. Nothing else matters. Everything else is just a bonus. Mm-hmm. You know, the, his bonus apparenda. He, he's all about souls for the kingdom and getting you to reconnect and getting all of us, all of his children, to reconnect with their royal family. That's all. Mm-hmm. So I pray that you were blessed. I thank God for tonight. I thank God Powerful. for the energy and the strength and the and and how the Holy Spirit just have a way of quickening us, Reverend Bio. And we thank God for the flow of the supernatural that will continue to go with you through the remainder of this week. We thank God for the suddenlies that's about to take place in your life. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. We thank God for the fish that God is showing you where that fish is. And and when you go to exactly what he said and where he said, there's a coin in the fish's mouth. Come on here, somebody. You know, even that widow woman, my goodness, little did she know what was going to take place, Blama. You know, but she was just obedient. When the man of God says, go in, she said, I only got enough for me and my child. We're going to eat and we're going to die. No, we don't speak like that anymore. We speak life. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. You speak what you want. And she went in and she got the meal for the man. She made him a cake and he ate. And guess what? She never ran. That's called supernatural. Yeah. Five loaves and two fish to feed thousands. Come on here, somebody. And then the leftovers, it's called the supernatural. Yeah, the oil. Remember the 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 woman whose sons were being uh, sold, and and uh, he said, "Go go go borrow the vessels." And they went out and they got all the oil vessels. Come on here, somebody. And then mm-hmm. what happened? She went into the oil business because the oil just kept flowing. So mm-hmm. it's, we're about to step into a supernatural flow like never before. And I can't wait to see what God has in store for you. And so to mm-hmm. God be the glory. We love you much. We thank God for you. We'll see you at Supernatural Business Conference, the 17th and the 18th. And listen, if you're not a partner of the chamber, go ahead and join kingdomchambercommerce.org. You join the chamber, I'll give you a ticket. I will. You'll be my guest at the Supernatural Business Conference. So I love you much. And of course, sponsorship levels also comes with tickets and accommodation. If you're traveling from out of town, we're having it at the, the Grand Hotel and there's special group rates that's coming to an end. So again, just reach out to us as soon as you can and we will see you at the top, Blama. Why, Blama? Because, because it's crowded uh, at the bottom. Everyone knows crowded. that. <laughs> First, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added. So we love you much. God bless you. Bye.